Oh, it's Rick Taylor. What up, this is Smokey Jones, and you tune in to the Rap Drive. Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Rick Taylor back with another episode of the Rap Draft. I got my boy Smokey Jones with me, man. What's good? What's good with you, man? Nothing much, man. Here on the Rap Draft, we like to interview artists around the city. You know, not just music artists, but all kind of artists. Barbers, hairstylists, you know, painters, whatever you do that involves art. Yeah. So I want to thank you for coming on the show and welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, for sure. So basically, we just want to ask a quest, ask some questions and um, let your fans know more about you and like wh who is Smokey Jones and stuff like that. So, you know, my first question for you is like, where were you born and raised? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That's dope. Home, man. What um, part of Milwaukee, like what neighborhood and stuff like that did you grow up in? Northside, Hampton and Burlau, around the marriage. OK, you've been you've been around Hampton and Burlau, the zoo and stuff. All right. What was life like for you as a kid growing up? Life was cool, very, very involved with sports and, you know, shit like that. Always music. Always music. That's dope. Like, was it rough growing up in the areas you came up in, or? I mean, somewhat, yeah. Yeah, like, every, like I know what you mean. Like, everybody, like, every place and every city and every neighborhood got some rough stuff from time to time. Yeah. You know, you know, you can grow up fast or, you know, you can see a lot of crazy stuff. Yeah, especially being in Milwaukee, shit. Yeah, man, a lot, and that's crazy because a lot of people think Milwaukee is just like farmland and like cows and shit like that. But it's, it's a whole a whole city. I be telling people like this: yeah. shit. Milwaukee is its own world. Like, <laughs> for, oh, like Milwaukee world. niggas will say we from Wisconsin. We say we from Milwaukee. Right, Milwaukee ain't nothing else important than Milwaukee. <laughs> like that's all we know. Milwaukee. Right, right. That's dope. So my question is like, you know, a lot of fans probably don't know, or a lot of people don't know, like who is Smokey John? Smokey Jones is one smooth nigga that know how to rap like a motherfucker. Right. I can dig it, Smokey Jones. It definitely fits your, you know, your 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 style and your personality. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that shit dope, man. Um, I see that you said you play sports and I remember you playing sports. Uh, I know that you used to play football. Like why did you stop playing football? Uh fell out of love with it really. I mean, I, I still love football, like I watch it very I'm a I'm a sports fan like a motherfucker. Right. But you know, grow up, grow apart. Like I just didn't, I just didn't have a passion for it no right. more. Type shit, cause I know everybody had that, like you know, that passion for sports and like want to go to the league. But then it's like you get older, you start falling out of love. Life start hitting. Yeah. Other shit, you know, got other interests and things like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, you know how how, how the odds play out. Yeah. Um, how long you been doing music? Uh, I've been putting music out since I was like 16, 17. Um. But I've been writing really since I was like I was I would say twelve. I wrote my first rap at eight, but you know, right. wasn't you know I wasn't writing music. You right, know, right. like like seventh grade, I was writing music and like all through high school I was I was doing that, but putting out music about about seventeen, like my senior year, sixteen, seventeen. That's dope. Yeah, I feel like everybody start music like at an early age, they do it like you start writing or you know, whether it's writing or just freestyling, playing around, and they start taking it serious and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah. everybody had that background. Um, who, is, who or what inspired you to do music? My dad, really. Because, like, my dad is a, a big music fan. Like, all my friends, because, you know what I'm saying, when I used to come over there and see, like, my dad had, like, a mountain of CDs, yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. with the speakers, you know what I'm saying, the hook, I like, he'd be blasting his music. That crazy ass Yeah, crowd. yeah. That. So, like, him and just, like, listening to what he listened to and then me diving off into music myself, like, big influences, like, Kanye and, like, early Wayne, mm -hmm. like, that's the reason why. Them the niggas yeah. the reason why, like, I, I start rapping type yeah, shit. Like, really like, wanted to rap, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But, like... Along the lines, like, niggas like uh, Wale, Wiz, Dom Kennedy, you know what I'm saying? 2 chain shit like that. Yeah, I fuck with them, bro. Dom Kennedy, uh, Wiz, and them. Yeah, Everybody yeah. fuck with Wayne, bro. I feel like Wayne, like, you know, that's why I had to make them logo, man. Everybody fuck with Wayne. He was inspirational in some kind of way. Yeah, some kind of way, exactly. Yeah. Now, um, so a couple years back, I realized uh, you was in this uh, rap group, The Narrow Gang. Yeah. I, I was in it in the beginning. 
Yeah. But, you know, I, I had, like, fell out with the passion and stuff like that or some other things happened. So, I remember y'all, you and Ray made a project and y'all was going strong. Like, what made, like, why did the narrow game stop? Like, what made you, like, you know, leave or why did y'all break up? Uh, I mean, I, I would say, like, anybody left or we broke up. But I mean, shit, everybody just wanted to do different avenues. You know what I'm saying? Any, everybody who was involved with right. it. You know, his passion wasn't into the music, yeah. more so being a videographer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he, you know, went along and did that, and I still, you know what I'm saying, fuck with the music, but it's like, I don't feel like we broke up or nothing, it's just shit. Everybody has. Everybody, yeah, everybody got their own passion, everybody doing their own thing. And that's crazy because uh, it was a lot of it was a lot of people in the narrow game. It wasn't just rappers, it was like, yeah. you had Lakeem Tattoo, mm -hmm. artists, uh, you, had, uh, you had Chuck, you had Jermaine. You had you, you had Ray, and he ended up going, to, like, you know, the film, Jermaine, doing yeah, the cooking. Yeah, Maul, too. Yeah, Maul. That's dope. Everybody, you know, got their own thing. And, like, everybody, it wasn't like you just, like you said, y'all broke up. shit, my fault. Yeah, yeah. So that was dope, man. It's good to still hear y'all still cool and stuff like that. Um, Another question I got for you, like, since you started doing music, what is the pros and cons of doing music? Like, what is, like, have you experienced some things, like some bad things, or, you know, what's the pros and cons for you? Uh... Shit, some niggas be acting weird, you know what I'm saying, with the music shit, like, you know, it's like, niggas be having egos with this shit, yeah. like, but really, I mean, shit, I, I'm making music because I love it fucking, I don't really be giving a fuck about that, right. you know what I'm saying, that other shit, I mean, probably a con will probably be like, you won't well, we get a lot of listeners, you know what I'm saying, yeah. coming out, but going along, like, when you're doing this shit, you're going to gain that, and once you, like, put your mind and your heart in the right place, like, really into the music, right. like, that, all that shit going to come as long as you're doing what you're supposed right. to do, so that's some shit you shouldn't fret over, like, just, you know what I'm saying, stay focused, right. you know just, what I'm saying, it's a, stay focused on the task at hand, and you'll be good. Right, just be yourself, do you, you know, your fan base going to grow, the money going to come to you, don't do it for the money right away, just do it for the love, Right, right. and stay down and stay true to your craft. <laughs> Do you feel like you get the credit you deserve as an artist? Um, shit, yeah. People fuck with me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm not. I'm. I ain't like I said. I ain't worried about that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna say I'm underrated and shit like that. That's you know what I'm saying? Like manifesting that shit. Right. <laughs> you know what right. I'm saying? If I, I say you. I'm underrated, I'm gonna be underrated. Shit. I'm staying in my lane with this shit. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm doing what Smokey do. Like I ain't. Worried about what the next nigga doing. Like right, I'm, right. I'm in the, you know what I'm saying. That's that's what I'm on. I'm on what I'm on. You know what I'm saying. I ain't, I ain't worried about that shit. Yeah, stay in your lane. That shit gonna come. I definitely understand that. And that's what's up. You feel like you get the deserve. You know, you get the respect you deserve and stuff like that. That's what's up. Yeah. How do you like? What do you feel about the Milwaukee music scene right now? Milwaukee music scene is about time we blow the fuck up because we got it's so much talent here. Oh, and like. And all areas of music, though, not just, you know what I'm saying, one area. Of course, slap rap, you know what I'm saying, that's going to be, that's the popular, you know what I'm saying, choice here. But that's, it's it's our version of trap. And trap is the most popular, like, probably most popular yeah. form of hip-hop, right? Yeah, I always thought that our, like, yeah. slap was our version of trap and what we do in our Yeah, like, exactly, exactly. But, but uh, shit, but we got, we got, we got dope artists from all genres, like, you know what I'm saying? Like the quote unquote backpack rap. Like it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of cold niggas. It's a lot it's a lot of good it's a lot of good rappers. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like a lot of y'all still be inspiring me to this day to like to do music. I'll be like, I listen to you, Mo City, Von Alexander, a whole lot of people. I'm like, this shit dope, bro. It's dark, all kind of people, bro. Yeah. It's just good to see the city, you know, getting this like, you know, getting the credit and starting to blow up with the key and all that, man. That's what's mm -hmm. up, man. Mm -hmm. Um Who's your favorite artist that you work with so far? Jay Lama. Okay. Yeah. I see you do a lot of work with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's dope. Uh, what artist, producer, or videographer would you like to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Like, it can be mainstream or local. Oh. Mainstream. I for sure want to work with Zaytoven. Like, that's like my... <laughs> that's like, he's like, he's like one of my favorite producers. Like, he up there. Um, shit. Local. On the local level, I I wanna I wanna I wanna fuck with uh like Melo Richie. Like I like that the sound that they got going on Richie over there. Hits. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Melo Melo, you know, dropping thirty and Richie with the hits, man. Shout out y'all, man. 
That's dope, bro. I can hear you on some of they beats, and I can hear you on Zaytoven. You the third person that said that, bro. That, what? The Zaytoven? Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's definitely going to manifest like he worked with a Milwaukee artist. Mm -hmm. I can see it now. Um, Are you working on any new music right now? Yeah, yeah. I'm working on a project called Smokey Fornia. Smokey Fornia. That's dope. Is it like halfway done, or? It's, you know, it's, it's we, we, we almost done yeah. with it. We almost done with it. It's going to be here. Any features on the album, or if so, who? Yeah, we got um, Mo City, dope. Chuck Sonora, dope. Uh, Jay Lamo, dope. uh, oh, I'm missing some money. I it's, it is one, but it's like I ain't gonna. Okay, you gonna save it? Yeah. Now yeah. y'all gotta check out that album to make sure y'all see who's gonna be on that other feature. Man, he don't want to say it right now. Yeah. That's dope. So why Smokey for you? What like what can we expect from this album? Uh, Smoky Fornia and shit, the, cause the project, like I started writing a project like, I want to say about like late, late September, you know what I'm saying? But when I started writing a project, like before I did, the reason why I started doing it, they got all my notes like from previous shit I wrote, like it just was like erased out of my phone. Yeah. So I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I had to start all over and that just... That just put a battery in my back. I took a trip out to Cali. I started recording uh, a few of the songs out there with uh, Picasso Justin. And um, shit, came back, me and bro locked in and shit, just being, you know what I'm saying, being grooving. Man, what was that Cali trip like, bro? Because I've been out there and it was lovely. Like, what was your experience out there? It was cool. A lot of, you know, it's, 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 it's a vibe. Like, it, I, I wrote a lot of shit out there, you know what I'm saying? Did a lot of shit out there, you know. I got, I got family out there, so... It's always cause like that was like that was like what my my second time going out there both times it was. All right, it's dope, man. L.A. got a whole vibe. Cali got a whole vibe, and it was the atmosphere that I like. I needed to the experience, man. I loved it, bro. Yeah. My final question for you, bro, is um, where do you see yourself in five years? See myself in five years. Uh, but definitely a business owner. Personally. Not just I. I don't want to just be remembered as a rapper. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not just rapping just to be like a nigga. That, that's a nigga that be rapping. It's like rap gonna open up a lot of avenues that I want to travel now. So, you know. Yeah. That's dope, bro. I hope everything you um you know you won't come to you manifest it. You know, speak into existence, man. Stay down for the come up and like stay in your lane and perfect your craft and don't let nobody steer you wrong, my boy. Yes, sir. Yeah, love. I appreciate you for coming on the show, man. Love. Love, man. Love.